Hello guys, welcome to IC Shades. This is a video that is part of a long list of short videos regarding Unity and C Sharp. We are doing one task at a time because I know Unity and C Sharp can be very overwhelming and I think the key is to concentrate on only one thing and not be bombarded with a lot of information. Today we are talking about object falling in Unity, as simple as that. If you like the video, leave a like, subscribe to my channel, maybe click the bell icon to get notified when something new is uploaded, because I will upload as much as I can. Ok, so I started a new project in Unity and I clicked on the 3D option. First thing I want you to do is get the game here and drag it on the right. This is the game camera, this is what the camera sees. So we will gonna modify it a bit, 16 by 9 and that is good. We will go on the hierarchy on the left right click, 3D object and cube. This will spawn our cube. We want to modify its position a bit, so we will go on the main camera in the hierarchy, we will get the coordinates 0, 1 and minus 10. We will go again on the cube and put 0, 1 and minus 10. This will put the cube on the camera, so we won't see it in the game camera. So we want to modify it a little bit, so instead of minus 10 on the Z axis, we will put minus 5. Ok, that's good, maybe we want to modify it a bit on the Y axis and put 0. Good, now we will go back in the hierarchy, right click, 3D object and sphere. For the sphere we will put again 0, 1 and minus 5. This will put the sphere on the cube. We want it a little bit higher, so we will modify the Y axis and we will put 3. That is good. We will click then play. Nothing happens. Ok, we unclick play. We must add a component. Add a component if we have the sphere clicked on. On the right we have the inspector and this is all the information about the sphere. We will add a component and write rigid. We will select rigid body and this will, uh, will give mass to the ball. Now if you click play, the sphere will fall and that is good. We want to take in consideration one more thing and that is the collider. In the inspector we have the collider, sphere collider. For the cube we have box collider, etc. If we unclick the sphere collider and click play, the sphere will fall through the cube and we don't want that. Click the sphere collider again, check if that it's ok and it is. So for object falling in unity you have to take into consideration two things. We have the collider, sphere box or whatever and we have the rigid body. If you want to read more about rigid body and colliders I will put in the description some links to Unity documentation, rigid body, if you want to read more, and colliders. And that is all, thank you very much for watching, you can leave a like, subscribe to my channel, maybe click the bell icon, and until next time, stay frosty!